Welcome, 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 everyone. This is Tracy Una Wagner with Versatile Inspirations and the Lightworkers and Earth Angels Academy and Study Hall. And this is your weekly energy foresight for October 10th through the 16th, Monday through Sunday. And for the month of October, we are working with Supernatural Join the Hunt Tarot Deck. And that is by Minerva Siegel. And the artwork is by Matthew Skiff. So for this week, Monday through Sunday, October 10th through the 16th, the card that came through is the star. And the message from the star is... Nice. This is what last week brings about when we follow our intuition and allow spirit to guide and protect us. The star appears. This will be a glorious week full of positivity, hope, inspiration, and a feeling of pure joy. Relish in these feelings and allow the powerful high vibe frequency to wash over you so that the next time you have a down day, week, or a month, you can call these feelings back up and carry on. So when we actually follow the lead of our spirit team, our higher self, our just those intuitive hits, when we flow and we allow and we do things that are for our highest and best good, we see Things such as the star that appear out of nowhere, it feels like. It feels like we're trudging along, trudging along, trudging along, but we're doing what we need to be doing. And all of a sudden, our star appears, or that light at the end of the tunnel appears, and it just lights the way for you. That's what this week is going to feel like. It's going to feel like a time when you can fully exhale fully be present, fully be in a space of gratitude, joy, happiness, love, bliss, all of those wonderful feelings that really light us up. That is what it's going to feel like that we're getting really lit up with our star. So just revel in this feeling for this week. I know we've got a couple more weeks and We've got some more swords coming up. So just be aware that, you know, this is a bit of a reprieve. This is allowing us to take some breaths, deep breaths, deep exhales, and just allow ourselves to be filled up full with love, joy, peace, and happiness. So for midweek and end week, I decided to go with Magical Dimensions Oracle Deck, and that is by Light Star. For midweek, and midweek is Monday through Thursday, or the 10th through the 13th, the card that came through is Awakening. And the card says, Ancient Knowledge, Memories, Connection. This whole year has really felt like an awakening, an awakening to what used to be. Now, I am a deep believer in the ancient civilizations. I love researching them. I love trying to understand how they did what they did. The two that I'm really interested in is Lemuria and Atlantis. And whether you believe in them or you just love the stories like I do, or you're just like totally poo-pooing it. The fact is, is when you look into even the Egyptian civilizations and those all over the world, those ancient, the ancient knowledge is just mind boggling. We still don't know exactly how they did things. We still don't know how or what things were for, but the fact is, is they've got some pretty remarkable things that have occurred in those civilizations. For me, Atlantis and Lemuria is really kind of how it started. The very ancient knowledge 
And when the world ended up being destroyed or um, just falling to ruin, some of that knowledge got distributed. But I think a lot of that knowledge just is stored, whether it's in crystals or caves or rocks or um, parchment, or maybe just the knowledge in the one consciousness. But this week, especially the beginning of this week, this awakening process may come like boldly coming through for you. You may get such intuitive hits from ancient knowledge to old memories, maybe from past lives. And the connections that come from that are so beneficial for us, even in our everyday lives. So for this first part of the week, allow those awesome memories, allow those awesome connections that have occurred throughout your time and space and allow for the ancient knowledge to come through. It's going to probably be different for everyone. Some people possibly worked with crystals, some with herbs, some with spirit even at that point. Some may be just there to comfort and to offer help and healing for others in their community in those ancient civilizations and in your past lives. Allow for that to come through. When we go through things like we have been going through this year, big monumental things, these swords that keep showing up, it really changes us and it opens up things for us. And it really breaks us open from the inside so that we can take a look at who we truly are, what we truly would like, and maybe what our true journey is here while we're on Mother Gaia this time. So just allow those things to come through. Allow your awakening process to continue forth. And I'm sure this whole week is going to be full of those aha moments or those little sparks of memories or connections or just some ancient knowledge. So make sure to maybe keep a, a journal and a pen or pencil handy to write down all of those wonderful facts and figures that are probably going to come your way. So for end week, and end week is Thursday through Sunday, or the 13th through the 16th, the card that came through is contemplation. And the card says, silence, knowing, releasing control. I have found it very interesting this year that a lot of the same cards keep showing up. It doesn't matter how many times I shuffle, I clear, these cards keep coming up and it feels like this year is full of our growth, our awakening. What happens when we go through these times of transformation or awakening, evolution? We have to contemplate the newness of what has come forward or contemplate those things that have moved through us. Contemplation is a wonderful asset to really get to know yourself more, the new information that's coming through you in a better light. And that way you can actually move forward instead of staying stuck, not knowing, not understanding, not knowing what to do with the new information or the new feeling of a new self or a new world, you have been able to contemplate what has been coming up. It's a very wise thing to be able to know. And the biggest part of contemplation is allowing yourself the silence and the stillness to listen to that small voice within or that small voice that just comes to you. Your higher self, unless it's in a very dire situation, is not going to speak to you in, a, in this manner it's going to come through very gently. It's going to come through as more of a guide rather than an authoritarian. Now, in certain circumstances, 
angels and our spirit team and even our higher self has been known to yell at us at times, especially to get our attention in case there's something that is happening and we really need to wake up and pay attention. Um, the, our instincts kick in and it really is kind of a, a roar rather than a little lamb talking. So just allow this last part of this week to really contemplate those things that maybe have come through the beginning of this week, all of those wonderful ancient knowledge, these um, things that are just coming through as maybe something that you're needing to bring forward as a message or just really anything from your past, from maybe your time in an ancient civilization where you had the ancient knowledge or you were privy to the ancient knowledge of that time and shine a light on that. Allow yourself to be still for just a moment. And if you've taken notes through the beginning of the week, contemplate and journal about that. Open yourself up to channel and just write out what it is that is coming to you about those things that came through. This is a great opportunity to release the control that our mind has on this material world and really allow our heart, our spirit team, our guides and angels, our Akashic records, and ultimately our higher self to come through and help and guide us in this new space that we're in. All right, you take care, have a fabulous week, and as always, I'm sending you lots of love, angel light, and tons of gratitude. You take care, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.